Jay, welcome back to the channel. So guys, today the drops for the Master Universe Origins and Masterverse collections just appeared on Entertainment Earth and other fan channels. I want to take a deep dive and see exactly which Origins figures were dropped today. Some of these are readily available on fan channels, but some did actually go to exclusive status. We'll take a look at all of those guys, and then in another video we will take a look at the Masterverse drops, which are very, very exciting. I will have affiliate links in the description below if you guys want to order these directly on Entertainment Earth. It helps out the channel, guys, and I really, really do appreciate it. Without further ado, guys, let's take a look and see exactly what was dropped on Entertainment Earth and other fan channels for this wonderful celebration. Let's have a look. Well, everybody, the October celebration continues, and Skeletor is true to his word. Not only has he taken over Twitter, he's taken over Instagram, and of course Facebook for all of the Master Universe social media pages. And today he announced something really special, guys. Check it out. Yes, in a special video, he literally told everybody to go and pick up his minions, which are available for pre-order on multiple locations. This is crazy, guys. That's right. All of the new drops for the Master Universe Origins and Masterverse figures have been announced. Let's take a look at what was dropped on Entertainment Earth. Guys, this one is going to be huge. Let's have a look. Heading over to Entertainment Earth, yes indeed, the celebration has continued, everybody. Right on the front page, you can see that Entertainment Earth is celebrating the celebration. We can see a lot of great figures right here, everybody. Let's have a look at what is up for pre-order right now on Entertainment Earth. Heading over to Entertainment Earth, the collection for Masters Universe Origins has been updated. And take a look, guys. Almost all of the cartoon collection has been put up for pre-order. And a few others, which we all were already expecting have also been relisted. Let's have a deep dive into this and see exactly which ones are here and which ones are missing, which is going to be interesting to talk about. The first one we're going to look at, guys, is, of course, the Lord of Destruction, Skeletor. Skeletor and his celebration begins! <laughs> That's right, everybody. I really love this version of Skeletor. He looks so good in this cartoon. Let's just admit it, guys. Filmation style looks incredible. I love the overall facial sculpt. You know, he's got that upside-down heart for a nose. His overall appearance really does look a, a much softer, much more simplified. It's definitely in homage to a cartoon style of character. Of course, my personal favorite uh, collections will definitely be coming from the Master Universe. Skeletor comes with everything that you see here. He comes with those two masks from that very specific episode in the Filmation series, which I really love. He comes with his signature Havoc Staff, his version of the Power Sword, and of course, the figure himself. Completely new sculpted. You can even see the way his legs are re-sculpted, and I believe that this actually helps him become just a little bit taller, according to our good friends over at ToyHabits.com, who did an entire review on He-Man and Beast Man. It should be noted that these actually aren't masks, they're actually full swappable heads. So, much like the gimmick which was created for Master Universe Origins, you can literally swap out Skeletor's head for this brand new mask feature. Skeletor has always been amazing in terms of his overall design. I love the blue skin, I love the purple straps and his overall hooded attire. They really hit it out of the park with this version, and I can't wait to see this guy in person because this this is definitely one that I've been looking forward to. Here we have Skeletor holding on to one of the quote-unquote masks, but as you can see, it's actually a full head sculpt. They've done a really good job with the photography in this aspect because you can literally see all of the designs work in 3D form, and I love it. But regardless of that, Skeletor looks amazing here, and I can't wait until we get him into our collections. The next figure in the line, of course, is the pivotal character of the series, He-Man. That's right, guys. He-Man and the Master of the Universe, and now he's come full circle. 1999 on Entertainment Earth. We have links in the description below if you guys want to order them directly. Clicking on He-Man, there he is. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about this version of He-Man. This version of the He-Man head sculpt, I think, really does capture much closer to the Filmation version, rather than the version which we got in the TV collection, which... Honestly, <laughs> a lot of people are just calling these duck lips, and I can see where they're coming from. But honestly, they both have their charm, and I do like both of these versions regardless. This one in particular just captures more of the feeling of Filmation, and I really do appreciate that. It's interesting that here on the solicitation photos, He-Man's only pictured with his power sword. Whereas we do know he should be coming with a second sword which was featured in the Masks of Power episode, which He-Man has to go to Snake Mountain to recover this sword, which eventually joins with the Power Sword to become 
the ultimate protection of the hero of Eternia. Bringing it full circle to the idea that the two halves of the Power Sword were actually canon the entire time. I really like the way He-Man looks here. He does really capture the filmation look, cartoon look if you will, and he actually does have a scabbard compared to Skeletor who does not. However, he does have both a Havoc Staff and a Sword of Power, so maybe that's where they had to cut the corners a little bit. I really like this pose, obviously taking direct inspiration from the filmation cartoon, literally where He-Man pronounces, I have the power! And of course, we can see here that He-Man does indeed have the power. Here he is with both of the swords which he comes with, and I really do like the way he looks. It should also be noted, he has this more pearlescent version of his straps. It's got this kind of glitter in the inside. We actually saw that close up in our first glimpse of these figures with the Motu Skeletor V Friend Skill Skeleton 2 pack, which will be going up on October 6th, only a two days away. And this version is so unique in so much that Skeletor actually has swappable emotional faces, and you definitely don't want to miss out on this because this version will not be available at retail. You can only get these crazy emotions from the pre-order of Motu Skeletor and V-Friends Skilled Skeleton. Super excited for this particular version and I know that he's going to be absolutely sought after by many fans of, Filmation Car of the Filmation cartoon. The next figure in the line is fan favorite the next figure the next figure the next featured figure is fan favorite trapjaw everybody holy crap this is one everyone's going to be gunning for i know it here he is trapjaw from the master universe origins filmation i find it interesting that they call it filmation here instead of cartoon collection i'm not even sure that's actually what they're supposed to be doing but i suppose it's easier for search terms as people are going to be looking for filmation as well as cartoon collection here he is everybody there is trapjaw now this does definitely give the impression of the cartoon version Version. However, there is something about his face which is not exactly capturing my ideal version of Trapjaw. However, we do know that when they finally come into the production versions, <clears throat> which people receive in their hands, oftentimes they look better than where the and then the solicit. Oftentimes they look better than the actual solicitation versions that they have here for these production shots. Trapjaw comes with everything that you see here. Now, it took me a while to figure out what this was, and thanks to the and thanks to the community for telling me exactly what it is. This was in an episode where <clears throat> objects were randomly being turned into crystals, and in this instance. Trapjaw was trying to eat a turkey leg or a chicken leg or whatever it was, and it actually turned into crystal right in his hands as he was chomping down on it. It was hilarious. Moving down further, we do see he comes with his signature blaster attachment arm and prepackaged in his, along with his hook attachment, which is always signature to Trapjaw and a must have for all fans. I really do love the cartoon colors. They really are reminiscent of the way he looked in Filmation. Also, the fact that he still includes his signature belt. Another fan favorite character dropped today, of course, is Beastman. Man, that's right, everybody. Filmation Beast Man, who we got a glimpse, who we caught a good glimpse of at the San Diego Comic Con reveal, who we caught a good glimpse of at the San Diego Comic Con reveal, has been dropped today. 1999 on Entertainment Earth. Let's take a look at this figure. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. He really does capture a more filmation look, and I really do love the overall colors. Nice and bright, those reds, those oranges, the blues in his eyes. This is just awesome. He doesn't look nearly as goofy as he did in later episodes of the series, but I do love the fact that they've given him this overall simplified cartoon appearance. Beastman comes with everything that you see here, and it is interesting to note that he seems to have that sword, which was discussed, which is supposed to be packed in with He-Man, pictured here. I think the photography is actually incorrect. If, I, if I'm not mistaken, this sword, which was featured in the Masks of Power, is actually included with He-Man himself. I guess we're going to find out exactly what the packouts are, but if you want to know for sure, you can head over to toyhabits.com, who did a full unboxing and reveal for Filmation Beast Man along with Filmation He-Man. And you can find out exactly what's in their pack out on that full review on toyhabits.com. On that full review, on the full review they did on toyhabits.com. Definitely give them a like and a follow, guys. Tell them that Jay sent you. Beast Man also comes with a levitation ray which he used to transport which he used to transport dragon eggs in a specific episode and that was a lot of fun he also comes with his signature whip which i'm a little bit disappointed with and i'm going to get to that in a second and he still comes with his signature megaphone whip which is kind of disappointing considering the fact that this is the cartoon collection and i guess they did it to save money because this has been readily available for decades so i guess they're just reusing that and almost a nod to the original series of figures as well beastman is seen here utilizing that levitation ray and again it was in a very specific episode with dragons. Here we have Beastman holding on to, uh, I keep calling it, the, the Megaphone Whip. And as I said, a little bit disappointing in so much of the fact that it doesn't look like this in the cartoon series, but still a must-have part of Beastman nonetheless. 
Beastman does look amazing, and I'm really happy that we're getting him in the first wave of the cartoon collection. I really do appreciate the way that Mattel is embracing the heritage of the Master Universe Filmation cartoons. This is something that cannot be missed, guys. Definitely head over to Entertainment Earth right now. We do have affiliate links in the we do have affiliate links in the description below if you want to buy them directly. And finally, the last figure dropped on Entertainment Earth is Filmation Tila. Now, when she was first revealed at San Diego Comic Con, there was a tiny little bit of controversy because the figure herself actually appeared slightly differently than what we see here. Heading over to ToyArc.com, another great resource for toy news all year round. Definitely give them a like and a follow. Tell them that Jay sent you. Scrolling down for some of the pictures that were on the show floor, we can already see many of these cartoon figures being featured at the show, including He-Man, Trapjaw, Skeletor, Man-at-Arms, who we're going to get to in a second, and of course, Tila. And as you can see here, it really does appear as if Tila was not show ready at this point because the deck on her face looks like it was almost haphazardly put together i mean you can see they really did attempt to get a, the look of tila at the time but those eyes there was just something about those eyes and people really did notice those blue eyes are just not the right color or the right size we have this final version of tila with the solicitation photos and even though she doesn't look exactly the way i would expect for tila this is a very very good look and i'm really really excited about this particular release of the captain of guard tila again her eyes are they really are well painted i mean that, do, do, we have to remember just how small these eyes are and just how much paint deco is required to actually get in these are literally millimeters in size so it's really cool to see that the blush on her lips, the red, the rouge on her lips is not exactly the right color. I think they're still tweaking with the character overall. But in terms of the overall sculpt and the likeness to the filmation character she's based off of, I really am a, a I really am loving this version of Tila, and I can't wait to see her when she finally lands in our collections. Tila comes with everything that you see here. She is the captain of the guard, so she does have that signature sword that she wielded in the Filmation cartoon. She comes with that shield, which she's always been seen when training with Prince Adam or doing battle with Skeletor, Beastman, and sometimes even Evelyn. She also comes with a training robot, which was built by her father, Duncan. Again, who we're going to get to in a second. And this one's a lot of fun. It has a blaster attachment as well as a, a knife in which she could use to train for multiple battle scenarios. I love it. Tila herself looks so well put together here. I love the new sculpt that they're using. The new knees look really great. I love the sculpting on the legs and the boots. She has this overall appearance of a simplified version of Tila, and I love it. There does appear to be a little bit of shine on the character. I'm wondering if that's just the studio lights that tends to happen. But overall, she looks very matted and doesn't have too much of a glossy appearance, which is so much fun for collectors. The one standout character in the line who appears to have not been dropped today is man at arms yeah this is interesting guys duncan has not been revealed on any of the fan channels so far doing a quick search on entertainment earth we can literally see that the only featured cartoon characters are skeletor he-man trapjaw tila and beastman the other figures in the line that were also released today are re-releases of she-ra princess of power as the universe origins merman which is not the mini comics version and zodak who was a very very sought after character for such a long time so doing a search for man at arms on entertainment earth reveals that man at arms cartoon version has not yet been released or at least listed on entertainment earth which is surprising he was actually listed as a general release so i guess we'll have to wait and find out exactly where he ends up whether or not he's an exclusive so guys the one thing that has been clearly missing from this collection appear to be these particular figures who are part of the master universe origins line i was under the impression these were part of the vintage collection but apparently they're not guys Really exciting news. These are actually going to go to big box retail. That's right, guys. These figures will be going either to Walmart or to Target. And let's talk about that right now. So the only Target exclusive in this set is going to be the Skeletor and Stranger Things. The Stranger Things Skeletor and Demigorgon 2-pack. This will be a Target exclusive and will only be available in store or online at Target.com. The others which are going directly to Walmart will be Lord Grasp, Terror, and the brand new Necroconda figures. These are going to be Walmart exclusives. So guys, hang on to your hats. We could possibly see these released in the next couple days. This 
is absolutely crazy. Guys, the cartoon collection has landed on Entertainment Earth and other fan channels like Big Bad Toy Store and even Amazon if you can find it. I have affiliate links in the description below if you guys want to order on Entertainment Earth. It really does help the channel and I really do appreciate it. And don't forget, you can have free shipping for orders over $79 by using code FALLFREE79. What a time to be a Master Universe fan, guys. Master Universe Origins has dropped on Entertainment Earth and I'll be covering the Masterverse collection, which has also been dropped on Entertainment Earth in another video. Wow, guys, I gotta tell you, this is freaking amazing and really has solidified the idea that Master Universe isn't going anywhere in 2024. As a matter of fact, contrary to popular belief, the line is returning to retail with these exclusive figures. And we did find out through Pixel Dan and other channels like our good friends over at geekdadlife.com that the Demigorgon and Skeletor 2-pack will be a Target exclusive and then Lord Grasp, Terror, and Necroconda will be Walmart exclusives. So guys, guess what? Master Universe is returning to retail shelves. This is absolutely incredible, guys. What a time to be a Master Universe fan. Guys, let me know in the comment section below. Are you going to be pre-ordering any of these figures on Entertainment Earth or the exclusive figures that will be showing up at Target or Walmart? Are you guys excited for all these brand new filmation style figures, which I am absolutely thrilled by? Or is it just not in your wheelhouse and you basically have already collected all these figures already, so you don't need another set to collect at this time? And are you excited that these exclusives are coming to Walmart and Target, but at the same time kind of disappointed that they're going to Walmart and Target? Let me know those comments in the comment section below, guys. Again, I'll have links to all the available products on Entertainment Earth in the description below. Please use those affiliate links, guys. It helps with the channel, and I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this episode, guys, please do leave me a like. It really does help me out. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe. And as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. We have the power, everybody. We have the power. And what a celebration! This has already begun. <laughs> Good journey, everybody. Be proud. I want to give a huge shout out to all my Patreon and channel member supporters. Thank you so much, everybody. It's thanks to your support that this channel continues to grow. And I really could not have done this without you. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for your support, guys. It really means a lot and really helps the channel to keep growing.